Hello friends. As a mom, it is sometimes really hard to relax. Even when I'm like relaxing, I have a million things running through my head, but I have something special planned tonight and tomorrow that is hopefully going to finally give me the ability to relax. When my sister came over a few days ago, we had this idea. She had one day off of work and we wanted to try this place called the Alieska Nordic Spa. It's brand new. It's in Girdwood, Alaska, which is the ski resort town here. It's about an hour drive from my home. My sister also has a house there. So we've been wanting to try it. She has Thursday off of work. This seems like the perfect time to try out the Nordic Spa. Well, if you've been around any amount of time, my sister and I tried to go get massages for our birthday and the day of they canceled on us. And so we were just like, haven't had very good luck trying to have a relaxing day together. So we get on the computer to reserve our spots at this Alieska Nordic Spa and I book mine just fine. Then my sister tries to book hers and it says no spots available. Wah, wah, wah. We were actually trying to get four spots. One for me, my sister, my sister-in-law, and our niece who is in college. So I call up, I say, hey, is there any way that you can get all four of us in? They say, no, sorry. We have a mat, we're at max capacity. Oh, we were all so bummed. Fast forward, Monday I check again, nothing. Tuesday I check again, nothing. Tuesday night, my sister calls me, hey, I was able to book four spots. All of a sudden, four spots, somebody must have canceled. We're back on. So now, fast forward to this morning. We are headed out tonight to Girdwood for a girls night. And then tomorrow we're gonna check out the Nordic Spa. And hopefully, I'm counting on feeling relaxed. I'm gonna let go for total relaxation. So I'm gonna bring you along. I think it's gonna be really cool. Brand new, only been open for like two months. I'll bring you along to check it out. Okay, I'm gonna finish getting ready and I'll see you on my way to Girdwood. sister here and then behind us is my sister-in-law and my niece Seneca she is here from college it is a gorgeous day and this drive is one of the most beautiful it's just one of my favorites I it never gets old and I'm getting to be the passenger so I can actually enjoy it even more my sister drives it all the time because they have this house out there but it's just beautiful right along the ocean Sometimes if you come at the right time, there are beluga whales in this water just right out there and you get to see their little white backs. Um, they come chasing the salmon up the turning an arm here. Um, have you seen them yet this year? I have. Yeah. But you have to hit them at the right time. We're going to go unload at her house and then we're going to decide what to do for dinner and I'll bring you along. Alright, so we stopped really quick at the house and now we're all together. Hello. We're gonna go try and find some dinner. We're gonna try and eat at this place called Jack Sprat. We have about a 15 minute wait, so we're gonna go in this cute little store called Mother Hubbard. I love this. Three to nine-ish. You are the greatest project you will ever work on. Ain't that the truth? I don't know how I've never been in here. Is that cute? Smells good in here. Fresh squeezed blood orange cedar and bergam. Soy cotton natural oils. Cutest. 
nicest little shop ever. Oh, I'm glad that we had to wait. I know they're cute. It makes me almost want to have color in my house. <laughs> Alaskan Greek kelp seasoning. Rice's best friend. Oh, that is cute. <laughs> like a little puppy. We had them. Everything on the menu looked so good and fresh, so we decided to get all four of the available appetizers and share them. They were delicious. Vegan mushroom nachos, focaccia bread and burrata cheese, fried yams and arugula aioli and Kodiak scallops. They were all so delicious. We probably could have ended our meal right there after appetizers, but we did each order an entree as well. The yam fries were my favorite appetizer, but it was hard to choose because they were all so good. I like these ones. So yummy. For dinner, we had amazing pad thai, a Wagyu steak burger, halibut curry, and another pad thai. They were all so good. We all filled up on appetizers, so we're pretty much taking full meals home. All right, dinner was amazing. It's kind of starting to rain, and it feels like it's snowing at the same time because there's this cotton flow flying around. All right, now we just get to sit back and relax and enjoy this view. Look at this. It is 8.30 at night. The sun is still pretty high in the sky. This is her beautiful home here in Girdwood. She just got this couch in. She waited months and months and months for it to be shipped up. For many of you, you may think that things take a long time. Just add two to four months on that. That's what happens in Alaska. I'll give you a quick little tour of this beautiful house. <laughs> There's is the awesome bunk room. Oh, they moved the couch up here. So she had these bunks built. How awesome are these? So there's four twins on the sides and then these are foals. One day this will be rented out as an Airbnb. So that's what they're getting it set up for. But so many pretty windows looking out into the rainforest here. Okay, this is like one of my favorite things in the world. When it's sunny and raining at the same time. I don't know if you can see it out there, but this is so gorgeous. I'm going to sit back and enjoy the quiet. Good morning from beautiful Girdwood. Look out this window behind me. It's a beautiful sunny morning. Last night when I left you, um, we were having a little rainstorm here and then I checked my phone and now I'm gonna show you what was going on at home. They were having a crazy, crazy hailstorm, Like the worst we've ever had.
Just leave it. Just leave it, guys. Oh, look, it look, it's like snow. That's we're just all getting ready and we're gonna head to the Alyeska Hotel. Well, what a gorgeous morning. We have driven up to the Hotel Alyeska. So excited to go check out the Nordic Spa. This is a new thing that opened just a few months ago here at the Hotel Alyeska. So we have no idea what it's all about, really, other than what we read on the website, so. Gotta be bear aware. Can't leave all that stuff in your car. You might have a friendly visitor. you can ride up to the top of the mountain. I don't think enough snow has melted for them to take people up right now. But one trick is that if you hike to the top of the mountain, you can ride the tram down for free. They only charge you at the bottom. I absolutely love interior design, so as excited as I was to relax today, I was also excited to see all the beautiful details. So we are all dressed in our swimming suits and robes. There are four pools outside, a hot, a cold, no, two hots, a cold, and a, a warm, I think she said. There is a dry sauna and an exfoliating room. This is just phase one, but um, I'm excited to go experience it all. She said, go at your own pace, let your body guide you what it needs. I'm gonna try the cold. Are you gonna try the cold? I am. <laughs> we're gonna push ourselves today a little bit so we're just enjoying these beautiful surroundings all right we've sat in the hot pool for a little while I'm gonna try a dip in the cold pool there's nobody around so I'm gonna film myself the cold plunge Going on, I'm going down. I'm just gonna go to my neck. That was a rush. Now back to the hot pool. Is that one cold, Seneca? <laughs> This is just the most beautiful location. These big trees, the moss, 
I'm gonna do this cold walkthrough. very nice relaxing morning we are going to go get lunch in the bistro because if you leave the spa it's you're dead so they have a nice little cafe and we're gonna go get some lunch is so calming and cute. A lot of really cool fixtures. We're gonna go try the exfoliating room where we'll we be stocking our waters. Here's the exfoliating shower room. Very steamy, we're gonna scrub ourselves down. Well, you can't beat this weather. We kind of feel like we're like not even in Alaska. It's so nice. There are some flies though. They're, they keep you humble. Can't get too relaxed. <laughs> At least they're not mosquitoes. Yeah, they're not mosquitoes. And it's just, ooh, there was one on my nose. It's just gorgeous. Well, it's four o'clock. All good things must come to an end. Gotta go shower off and get home to our families. Well, that was the experience we were kind of wanting yes. four months ago. So I'm glad we I'm glad it Held worked out. out today <laughs> because this was even better. So thanks for suggesting it. Absolutely. Anytime. We are all very relaxed. We gotta cross this bridge up here back to reality. <laughs> It, it felt kind of like a its own little world in there. I hope you enjoyed coming along on that whirlwind 24 hour little girls trip to the Alieska Day Spa. My sister actually, because of uh, an accident, had to drop me off on the side of the highway near my house and now I'm walking home about probably half a mile. But it's a beautiful night out. She was on the way to taking her son to a soccer game and there was really bad backup of traffic on the highway. But where she had to get off to get around the traffic was near our house. So I'm now walking home so that I can go see my boys. And Westy is riding his bike up to say hi. <gasps> and I see Everett. Oh my goodness, how'd you learn? Oh, careful. I did it from like over by their house. Wow. Hi. I missed you. Oh my goodness, you are so warm. It is so hot. Oh, it is so hot. Hi, hon. Hi. It is great to have a mom break, but it's also great to be home. I got little boys tucked around me. Everett's right here asleep. Weston's right here asleep. I'm happy to be home. Back with my boys and Luna. Thank you so much for coming along for my trip to the spa. We'll see you again real soon for more of this Alaska life. Bye-bye. You say goodbye. You just want to get scratched. <laughs>